This is video two in the series of three videos I will be sharing with you. In this video, I will guide you step by step on how to properly install Apple's iOS 8 update on your Apple mobile device so you can find comfort knowing that you are doing it properly. But before we go any further, I would suggest to you to select the video expansion tool in the bottom right hand corner of this player so you can view this video full screen. Okay, now let's go learn how to install iOS 8. There are two ways to install iOS 8 on your Apple mobile device. Now the first way to install is actually downloading iOS 8 to iTunes and installing it from your computer. The second way to install is to use the over the air installation method from your Apple mobile device. Okay. And what happens in that one is you actually download it directly to your mobile device across the wireless connection and do the install that way. For the purpose of this video training, I will be showing you the over the air install method since most people do it that way. Now, before we start the installation process, we need to make sure that we have properly prepared your iDevice for iOS 8. And if you haven't watched it, please go back and watch video one, how to prepare your device for iOS 8 in this series of three videos. Next, make sure, and I stress this, make sure that you back up your device before running the iOS 8 install. You wanna make sure that your iDevice is at least 50% or more charged and I want you to plug in your iDevice into a power source before you actually run the installation. Okay, folks, I think uh, we're all set. So let's go install iOS 8. Okay, I'm on my iPad Air now, and I wanna go over a couple tips right before we do the installation. And this is important, I want you to follow these tips. First of all, I want you to check your App Store, and I want you to check to see if you have any available updates You'll notice to the right of the apps, there's a little button that says open. Well, those are already updated. If you have an app that is ready to be updated, it'll say update. I want you to update all those apps that you have in there before you run the iOS update. Next, make sure you do a backup of your device before the installation. I just got done backing up to both iCloud and iTunes. So I'm backed up, I've got it in two places, and I'm ready to go. Also, I want you to go to your settings app. Mine's in the bottom left-hand corner of my dock. And go to general. And I want you to go in, and I want you to find usage. And tap usage. Now in usage, I want you to look at the top there where it says storage. It says I have 27.1 gigabytes available. That's good. I've got plenty of room to do this install you wanna make sure that you have at least two to three gigabytes available to do this process. I'm not sure exactly what the uh, size of the install will be or the download, but uh, usually it's in that two to three gigabyte range. So make sure you have enough memory. Next, I want you to plug in your device. So I want you to plug it into a power source. So plug it into a wall outlet. And you notice in the upper right hand corner, mine's plugged in, you'll see that little lightning bolt. And staying in the upper right hand corner, you notice that I have a battery charge or it's at 88% and I want you to have at least 50%. So five zero percent before you do the installation, preferably having it up around 88 to hundred percent. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm all set to go with that. Next, I want you to double tap your home button and go into the multitask mode and you'll see that I have a lot of apps that are open. What I want you to do and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and quit apps that are open in the background. And to quit an app, you just saw that I flicked one up, just take your finger on that uh, little thumbnail right there and swipe up. That quits the app. And I'm gonna go through all the open apps that I have and quit this. Quite a few apps. This is good practice. So there are no current running apps during the install. 
All right, so let's come back to the home screen. So we've got that all done. Next thing I want you to do is I want you to restart your device, completely restart and give it a complete refresh. Now to restart your device, you hold down your sleep wake or your power button, it's called either or, and hold that down for about oh, two, three seconds until you get to the slide power off screen. At this point, go ahead and slide that from left to right to shut down your iDevice. Now once it shuts down, go ahead and restart it. Okay, are you ready to go to work? All right, now don't worry. We're ready to go ahead and install iOS 8 and we're gonna do this together. So don't get too excited. Uh, follow me step by step and we'll make sure that you get this installed correctly. First, we need to go find the iOS 8 update. And to do that, you have to go to that settings app again. So we're gonna go to your settings app. Mine's in the bottom left-hand corner of my dock. And I'm gonna tap that. Now, I'm gonna go to general. Now, once I tap general, I'm gonna look for, and there it is, software update towards the top. And I'm gonna tap that. And once I tap that, it's gonna go out and check to see if there's any available iOS 8 updates. And sure enough, there it is, all ready to go. Now, before we hit that download install button to initiate the process, there's a learn more option there. If you tap on that, that provides you a breakdown of all the new feature sets in iOS 8. And you can see there's a lot of them. Now, don't worry about reading all this. What I'm going to do is in video three, I'm going to give you an overview of all these features. So you'll be able to go ahead and use that on your device. So I'm going to tap done. And now at this point, we're all set to go. So I'm gonna tap the download and install button. Now, once I tap that button, I have to agree to the terms and conditions that Apple's providing. So yes, I agree. And you'll see that once I do that, the gears, and I think you can see this on the video, the gears on the icon next to iOS 8 are actually spinning around. So we're downloading and update is requested. Your software update has been received. You'll be notified when the update has been downloaded and ready to install. So I'm gonna let that go and stop the video right now and pick up on our next step. Okay, the download process has begun. Now the first thing it's gonna do is actually download the update to your device. Now depending on your connection and depending on when you do this, I'm doing it right away and there's probably millions of other people trying to do it at the same time. So it may take, this process may take a little while to do. So I'm gonna let this go ahead and download and then what I'll do is I will pick you guys up on the next step. All right, so hang in there and we'll see you in a little bit. Screen right below where it says Apple Inc. The status bar just popped up and it said the download has about one hour remaining. And again, this goes back to, uh, this is a larger download and plus there's probably millions of other people trying to download it at this time. So I'm sure the uh, Apple servers or update servers are <laughs> being slammed right now. So I'm gonna let this run, and then again, when I get to the next phase, I'll go ahead and pick it up. Okay, we finished the download phase, and that took about an hour and a half. I know originally it showed an hour, but again, due to the heavy load on the Apple update servers, I think it really slowed down the progress of that download. Now we're in the preparing update phase, and it's preparing the update that it just downloaded so it's ready to go ahead and install on my device. There should be one more phase before the install called verification. And that will verify that the update is ready to install on my device. All right, the preparing update stage has finished and it never really did go into a verification stage at this point, but it did prompt me right now to go ahead and install. Now I have an option to install it now or later. And for the purpose of this, we're gonna do it now. Uh, I do wanna point out that that preparing update stage took approximately 45 minutes to complete. So it did take a little while to do. So remember this, while you're getting ready to do your install, give yourself plenty of time, make sure you're plugged in to a power source and make sure your battery is fully charged. So what'll happen is I'm gonna tap the install and it's gonna restart my device. And when it restarts, it's gonna come up to a black screen that'll have the Apple logo on it. 
and it's going to have an install progress bar displayed on the screen as well. And that progress bar will actually start from the left, work its way to the right, and when it gets to the right hand side, it will be close to finishing and then upon finishing, it'll restart itself. Now what I'll try to do is switch over to uh, my iPhone and record a little bit of that so I can give you an idea what that looks like uh, as that happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap install now. So let's give it a go. Ah, uh, there's the verify and update stage. So it's gonna go through a verification of the update and once that's done, the device itself will restart like it just did. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll see you in a bit. All right, the preparing update stage has finished and it never really did go into a verification stage at this point, but it did prompt me right now to go ahead and install. Now I have an option to install it now or later. And for the purpose of this, we're gonna do it now. Uh, I do want to point out that that preparing update stage took approximately 45 minutes to complete. So it did take a little while to do. So remember this while you're getting ready to do your install. Give yourself plenty of time. Make sure you're plugged in to a power source and make sure your battery is fully charged. So what will happen is I'm going to tap the install and it's going to restart my device. And when it restarts, it's going to come up to a black screen that'll have the Apple logo on it, and it's gonna have an install progress bar displayed on the screen as well. And that progress bar will actually start from the left, work its way to the right, and when it gets to the right hand side, it will be close to finishing, and then upon finishing, it'll restart itself. Now what I'll try to do is switch over to uh, my iPhone and record a little bit of that so I can give you an idea what that looks like uh, as that happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap install now and let's give it a shot here. All right, you guys. Ah, uh, there's the verify and update stage. So it's gonna go through a verification of the update and once that's done, the device itself will restart like it just did. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll see you in a bit. All right, so I decided to take some snapshots of the install screen. So this is after your device has restarted, booted up to that install screen. Now, you'll notice that there's a status bar that is right in the middle of the page. And according to this status right here, my installation is almost done. And oh, by the way, sorry about that reflection there. Now I do want to point out is after it completed this cycle, it restarted and I got another, a secondary status bar to come across the screen. So you might see two of those during the process. Once the installation completed, your device will present you with some configuration pages. And the first one there on the left is just a general welcome. And on the right, it gives you a status that your update completed. All right, so you'll see there location services. Do you want to enable location services? Well, it is a big part of iOS 8 and a big part of how your applications communicate with you and, and responds to your location. The one on the right there, that's where you're going to enter in your iCloud settings. So if you're connected to iCloud right now, go ahead and put your iCloud password in. The screenshot on the left shows that iCloud settings are updating and on the right you just have to agree to the terms and conditions that Apple provides you for that. Now I want to spend a little time here. You are now presented with the option okay, to upgrade to iCloud Drive. Now for anybody who has a Mac or anybody who has other iOS devices that you don't plan on updating to System 8 quite yet, do not activate this. Okay, I repeat, do not upgrade to iCloud Drive at this point. And the reason why is, you'll see right there, you will not be able to access the documents currently stored in iCloud on the following de devices until they are also upgraded to iOS 8 or OS X Yosemite. Now, the OS X is for your Mac. 
and that version of the system is not going to be released until later in the year. So if you are syncing between all your devices, including your Mac, you don't want to upgrade right now because you'll have issues of syncing because of compatibility issues. So actually what I did is I actually just didn't upgrade at this point because I need to get all my devices updated first before I turn that on. The screenshot on the right, iCloud Keychain, that'll be up to you if you want to store your passwords uh, in iCloud. It is a convenience, but I know some people are not comfortable with saving their passwords up in the cloud yet, so that's up to you if you want to go ahead and set that up or not. And finally, you'll come to the Welcome to iPad Get Started page. And when you get to this, you're all set to use iOS 8 on your device. Well, welcome to iOS 8. Congratulations. Hopefully you made it through along with me. It took a little while, but it finally completed. Now, at this point, things might not look any different than what you had before. So I'm gonna show you how to check to make sure that your iOS update actually worked. So let's go back to settings. Mine's in the lower left-hand corner of my dock. I'll tap that. Let's go to General. We'll tap Software Update. And there you go, iOS 8.0. Your software is up to date. All right, that's good news. So we just completed the process, step-by-step, -step, of how to install iOS 8. One last thing I wanna point out is take a look at the App Store icon in the middle of my screen there and you notice that it has a red badge with the number 13 in it. Now even though I did run updates before I installed iOS 8, it looks like there's a bunch more updates waiting for me. So I'm going to need to go into the App Store and run those updates so I make sure those apps are going to run properly within iOS 8. Well that's a wrap for tutorial number two of three and I hope that you join me for number three, because in tutorial number three, I'm gonna take you through all the new features of iOS 8. And this way, it'll save you some time from trying to figure them out all by yourself. So hopefully you can join me on that. Now, if you could do me a big favor, if you learned something from this, and if you found some value out of it, I want you to take a look right down below this video, and you'll notice that there is a big old like button down there. If you could, like this video and that tells me that you actually like this and appreciated what I did for you. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know if you successfully updated and let me know if you have any questions and I can help you out with those questions. If by chance you ran into issues with not enough space to install iOS 8, I put together a real nice tutorial step by step of how to clean up and free up space on your iOS device. You'll find that right below this video and go ahead and click on that and it'll take you over to the area where you can sign up to view that. So again, if you don't have enough space and you wanna learn how to do that, I'm gonna walk you through step by step. Please join me for that video as well. Thank you everybody and get your mobile on.